Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys have had an amazing weekend and are ready to crush the markets this week. I will break down a trade that I took last night on the E-minis, but first of all, let's take a look at the SPY. Now last week we did get a glorious little gap and go on the SPY after this beautiful hammer bearish candle. We did gap and we did go so if you did get to take that trade bullish, then well done to you guys. Right now we are just retesting and as you can see, we did bounce off the 10 EMA last night. And for the most part, we really just traded sideways. If you take a look at the five minute, not a whole lot happened. We did kind of have this quick little sell off, quick little bullish move and then choppy, choppy, chop city. So on the daily guys, just look to buy the dip. If we do, uh, consolidate here that makes the most sense I do think we will be a little bit choppy for a little bit longer but for the most part guys I am very bullish on the markets still not a whole lot of bearishness happening out there in the markets now let's take a look at the e minis so the e minis I'll just dive into the one minute so I can kind of break down my trade that I took at the start of the session and as you can see here, we had this nice little bearish move here, and here's the little retest. And we did, so as, as this retest came in, I looked on the footprint chart, there was a lot of buy imbalances coming in at 31.31.25, and there was a very large order that did come in. So as that broke, as that order broke, I looked to take it short at 31.32.50. So this was a quick, very quick move. As you can see here, it was a nice little three hour trade and I did make three hour and two minutes, so it was very, very good. I should have taken a long here and reversed my trade. However, that's okay, three hour and two minutes ain't too shabby. So if you are looking at the E-minis, guys, just look to buy the dip. We have not closed below the 20 EMA yet. And if we do, then obviously I would look for us to at least come back down to the 50. So keep that in mind, stay bullish on the markets. Speaking of volatility, let's take a look at the VIX here. Now the VIX, we did get a nice little bullish pop in the VIX. So if you do own shares, just look to sell premium up here. Don't be looking to buy options as the volatility will be quite high. So take advantage of the volatility, sell some premium. You could probably get some nice nice premium on some longer term covered calls out of the money so just keep that in mind but for the most part guys looking pretty good to sell some options up here Let's take a look at cgc we had a nice little bullish pop yesterday and as you can see it was a glorious little gap and go right above the high of this bearish candle and all these candles here so if you did get to capitalize on that move it was very very quick I actually did not get to capitalize on that move as I didn't get up because I was too busy sleeping. However, CGC was definitely a very nice play. So if you caught that, well done to you. Right now, just currently retesting, but for the most part, we'll probably just trade sideways and then slowly bounce. Let's take a look at Apple. Now, Apple not doing a whole lot as well, guys. A little bearish inside day candle bouncing off the 10 EMA could potentially just chop around sideways here guys like the rest of the market not overly bullish up here especially because we are in the all-time highs uh, but for the most part guys just look to buy the dip was a very nice dip buying opportunity back here last week so if you caught that well done to you let's take a look at Netflix this was another nice little bearish retest gap now if I take a look at the five minute you can see here we had a very nice support level right here. We did start to get fairly weak in the morning. Nice little bullish pop, but we could not get above that 298.95 level or 299. So as soon as this came in, this would have been a nice little setup for you to take short and a break or a break below the low of the day entry. Oh, sorry, entry with a stop after this little retesting candle and you could have made a nice quick little one or two R trade there. So Netflix going uh, going down, gapping down below the 50 day EMA. So that is quite uh, quite important to, to note and we do have some nice bearish volume. So it probably will continue guys, just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at X. Now X on the long term scale, has hit its head against the 200 
E, uh, 200 SMA on the daily chart. I'm not overly bullish here on X, guys. Um, so mostly, most likely, we will probably just trade sideways within a range. Look to sell high and um, uh, look to sell some options high if you do have uh, if you do have long-term positions on X. You do not want to be getting caught out too early on this one, as this is a, a buying location rather than a selling location. Let's take a look at Etsy now. Etsy, I did speak about this last week, and we are at a very critical level. We have this support here uh, at about $40, and you can see here we have bounced off this level before. If this level does break, then most likely we will be filling this gap from back in 2008 in June. So keep that in mind. We are at a very nice buy the dip location just based on this volume and this particular candle right here. So just keep that in mind, guys. Etsy could break either way, but if we do get to bounce, it makes a total lot of sense. Let's take a look at Amazon. Now, Amazon's still trading within this range. We are at a buy low, sell high location. I personally believe that we will go a little bit lower, probably back down to the $1,700 level, and then you'll get to buy the dip at a lower price. So if you are looking for a dip buying opportunity, keep Amazon on your watch list. Let's take a look at the all odds. Now, the all odds not doing a whole great deal. We did get this nice little bounce off this lower band uh, trend line on the ascending triangle here, the ascending wedge. And right now we are just stair step padding sideways. So for the most part, guys, I think we're just going to trade sideways within a range. I do think I am bullish on the markets here. If we do break this trend, I think we will most likely come down to at least the 200 on the daily chart. So just be very, very cautious here on looking to take any breakouts or breakdowns. Uh, got a request from my boy Juan. I actually met up with him for coffee yesterday, which was great. Great to meet you, mate. You're an amazing person, amazing human being. Wanted me to look at Data3 Limited. Now, Data3 Limited, uh, we have had some nice little consolidation patterns here, nice little descending wedges, which did break down, as you can see, mate. And same thing happened just the, this last month. And as you can see here, we are forming once again the same pattern. So this could break either direction. Just bear that in mind. We do have a current bullish high wave candle right now, but we are not breaking above this particular high. So if we do break below here, expect a quick little sell off down to the 100 and then we will get a nice little buy the dip level. Let's take a look at APT for you as well, mate. APT back down at this support level. I have mentioned in the past that this is going to consolidate for a while and I still do believe that is going to happen. So if you are looking to own some shares, uh, if you can buy off the 200, then great. If you are already in shares, then probably keep holding as this is a very nice level to get in to the trade. So APT just going sideways at the moment, but most likely will slowly grind sideways and then higher in the future. Let's take a look at Harvey Norman. Harvey Norman resisting the 100 on the daily. Not a whole lot to see here, guys, on the weekly chart. We could potentially come back down to the 200. There is a lot of buying pressure, as you can see right here at that level. So $4, if you are looking for a dip buying opportunity on Harvey Norman, $4 would be a very nice location, or at least the 200 at 412. Newcrest Limited, Newcrest Mining, we did get a nice sell-off. Now, if you remember back here, guys, I did mention this is probably going to be a very nice selling location. So if you did have longer-term positions, I hope you took advantage of that and sold. Right now, we have had a glorious little pullback uh, of about 25, 26%. And on the weekly chart, uh, on the weekly chart, we are still, in, still looking fairly weak. Uh, however, this is coming down to a low level to buy. It is going to be tracking gold. Gold has had its bullish move already. And I do personally believe that gold will slowly grow, grind lower. If you are looking for a long-term dip buying opportunity, there it is right there. The 100 simple on a weekly chart. So 2520 would be a, a an amazing uh, an amazing level to buy the dip for Newcrest. So keep that in mind, guys. Let's take a look at CBA. I need to give shout-outs to my girl, Helen. 
for selling shares up here and then buying that dip off the 200. You go, girl. Absolutely crushing the markets. Well done. This was a nice little dip buying opportunity. I have said we are going to trade in a range here for a while. Just look to buy low, sell high, guys. We're probably going to be here for a lot longer, maybe till at least February and uh, pre, pre or post earnings. So CBA trading sideways, look to buy low, sell high. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil stuck in a range again, trying to break above the 59 level, just not quite getting there. And we are just kind of just going sideways at the moment. So if you are looking to take a trade, I'm probably a little bit more bearish at this point, um, just because we have had a very nice bullish run the last two weeks. Uh, and I do like to buy low, sell high. So if you are, if you're trading futures, we are at a resistance level right here, as you can see. And uh, could we go lower? Absolutely. Could we go higher? Absolutely. So make sure you trade what you see and not what you feel, guys. There is so many opportunities in the markets to make money on this. Let's take a look at gold. So gold's still not breaking above the 100 on the daily chart. I said before that most likely we will trade lower back here. And we did get a very nice quick little sell-off. So if you did take that trade to go lower, then well done to you guys. It's probably going to continue a little bit lower, but it's just going to take its time. So have some patience. If you want to get paid, you've got to get paid. You've got to have some patience, guys. Just remember that. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Still looking weak, but stuck right here at the 100 simple on the daily. Not a whole lot happening, still still slowly, slowly descending, and most likely we'll come back down to 67.50 or 67.60. Uh, but six, between 67 and 68 seems to be the range that we are uh, kind of stuck in at this current moment. That's all I've got for you today, guys. If you want me to review any more tickers, leave it in the comment section below, or hit me up on Facebook, or send me an email, ricky at reallifetrading.com, and I would be happy to hear from you guys, and I would love to review what you have, share some ideas, and that would be absolutely amazing. All right, guys, I'll be back on Thursday with another Real Life Stock Review, and until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. Have an amazing next couple of days. I'll see you all soon. Bye.